All right, this place, Hungaro Ring, um, great track. It is uh, pretty tricky, and there's a few turns that I didn't know were um, like they were, just because I've only driven this on the F1 games. So uh, you're gonna see the coolest thing in a few seconds because they've actually got a little bit of advertising and it is windy out. And there you go. Got some uh, banners flapping around here in the wind as we go around. I believe that was three. Now, I am not very good. This is the brand new Porsche. Drives a lot better than the other Porsche, but I did not know this one here was blind, which makes what we've seen out of a few people and Alonzo even more impressive going into there. Obviously, once you know the track, then it's not really blind, but we saw a lot of moves going into that. But as you can see, this place is narrow compared to a normal F1 circuit. And uh, that is why it is very, 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 very tough. And Hamilton was struggling to get around a lot of the field. So, I haven't found my limits, especially in this car. Um, we're just enjoying the track. It looks good. It looks like some of the new trees are being used. Because that, you see the tree change as you get closer to it, which is a little bit annoying. So, not really sure I like that. Um, unfortunately, everything is broken right now on the iRacing service, and you can't really get into a normal race. So we're just doing a test session. Can't even get to AI. So, just racing myself, learning the track, but um, very fun track, very good track. And there, you know, I am struggling on bits. That's the place where you can go around the outside, because then you got the inside here and should be able to hold them off. But I have not found my breaking points here. And that was a little bit early, but still better than what I've done, and we lock him up. This car is very easy, and then right at the edge of braking, very tough. And I haven't even looked to see, like, traction control and other things like that. I don't think it's enabled. I think they have it off to match the uh, European Porsche Super Cup. I think the American version is uh, got traction control and ABS. Now oh, that wasn't a cut. So it doesn't look like they have the uh, new four tire thing here, but I didn't really look into it all that much probably another one of those things where we're not ever going to hear about it again, even though it's a good thing. They tend to just go, alright, we're going to do this, and then don't update any other tracks ever again with it. Because they didn't use that phrasing when they said they changed Silverstone's um, off tracks and everything, so... I, uh, I'm skeptical that we'll ever see that again, unfortunately. Because that's just iRacing where they do one thing and then call it good. Oh, tried pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am slow enough, it will clear itself. I 
I've just got the high down force package in for the setup. And even then, it can go away on you very quickly. I mean, there, that off track was common sense. There wasn't a off track. Maybe I just cut more than I thought. I can see this track being very frustrating, though, getting stuck behind someone that doesn't want to uh, give up the spot. Because even if you make a mistake, it seems like you can kind of cover off the line. I have to say though, this car is very fun to drive. Um, it's got a little edge to it, but it's not too terrible. Let's try the outside. Can I make this work at all? Well, that was quicker. that I need to really work on finding that edge. And that was about perfect for me. About as perfect as it'll get. And then I screw up the next corner overdriving the entry. A little lift off. Doesn't break on me there. We got a good lap going. Keeps just speeding up on me. Tires are starting to get to a point where they're enjoying life. Bad time to go to first. And we bring it around for my final lap. 152.5. All right. Let's, uh, let's first go check out the car. Let's take a look what it looks like. And, uh, Well, it looks like a Porsche, as all Porsches do. Well, except for some of those stupid family cars that they're putting together now. That is some, uh, I don't know what the X is about on the headlights. Super Cup, I don't know. Um, yeah, so luckily we've got this, uh, you know, chromish style paint now that they can use, but um, I mean, it's a good looking car. Big ass wing on the back of it. Just above, eh, it's just right in line with the the roof. But they have to create enough separation down here from the uh, little tail fin for the uh, downforce to actually work right. So they got to put it way up and, uh, yeah. Little baby diffuser on it. But, big ass brakes on it, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's a Porsche. That's, that's, uh, about all I can say about it. It's a good looking car. Drives awesome. Um, let's... So, take a look at the main character in this. And that is the track. So, let's watch a couple of laps. Let's see what we got from TV cams. 
I should have a lot of good references on uh, where to put cameras. It's too quiet. See, I love this. Like, I was so surprised when I came around the corner because we never get event type looking things and when we get them in game it like i mean that row of banners there just brought so much life to the track right there it's like oh hey it's not just a static world and i know i'm in test so it's a little bit different than what you see during a race but um, yeah, still got the outside of the track being way too bright sometimes in a very ugly green. I wish, I mean, I know we're not seeing that often, but man, that bit just outside the walls of the track always looks horrendous. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Some little car though. I might have to do some uh, AI racing on road. I think that might be the easier thing to have look more realistic. And we have static. All right, we've got static. So let's uh, watch a lap of static cameras. Flags fluttering around all over the place. Banners back behind the stands. way too close and clipping. I go way wide. That was a big-ass slide that I was not ready for. And luckily, it seemed like it was a little bit easier to save. Way overdriving corner entry. You have it. Hungaro Ring. Great track and fun car. I just, uh, it takes so much time for me to get up and running on a road course that, yeah, it's hard for me to go out and drive. I definitely don't want to be the guy who wrecks someone. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll give it a shot a few more times this year. I kind of got bored with the MX5 and then they started running like 45 minute races. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you got this track, what you think about it, but another F1 circuit, which is great. So, thanks for watching.